Well, Lucky Stoutner, I have chosen an article off of Sports Illustrated in regards to the NFL and their incentives, specifically with NFL tight end Rob Gronkowski. So in, 20, in 2021, uh, tight end Rob Gronkowski was playing in the final game of the regular season for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And he had found out that he was a couple receptions short of his incentive of $1 million. After finding this out and conversing with quarterback Tom Brady, um, they had designed multiple plays directly to get him the ball and to reach his incentive. This, this conversation between him and Brady was recorded and went viral. And he went on to Jimmy Kimmel and was interviewed about it. And when Kimmel asked if this is a common thing in the NFL and if he's seen other players specifically draw up plays to boost their stats and reach their incentives, he had mentioned that Yes, that's a common thing, and then made a joke about saying that not with the Patriots, his former team, saying that they would just pull a player before they reach their incentive. Incentives are anything that motivates someone to do something. In this case, money. Money is a primary, money is one of the primary incentives, along with glory, grades, and like approval. Anything, anything that motivates someone and gets a desire that they want is is an incentive. And those things are used to boost employee uh, production and effort. Money is one of the most important incentives and is something that's used many, many times. Uh, it's, it's displayed perfectly here that these superstar athletes that make millions of dollars, uh, more than that, will, will go out of their way to do more for an extra incentive, even though these, even though the amount of money, such as a million dollars, is very proportional to the amount they make, it is a very strong motivation for anyone. This relates directly to our management course, and incentives and motivation as a whole are referenced in chapter five, which we have been recently going over. This is uh, something that we've discussed in multiple different examples and something that relates directly. Monetary incentives, are an extrinsic motivator, which is another part of our lesson. The incentives with the Patriots and Buccaneers, how they are regarded, both uh, depicts two separate approaches by NFLs as businesses, which they are. Uh, the Patriots, their reference to not wanting to play, wanting to pay player incentives, depicts how they run their business and how they choose to operate with their employees or players, obviously. Whereas the Bucks, they, they were okay with letting uh, Gronkowski design plays for him to reach that incentive. So these two alternate viewpoints are very different, but coexist in the same organization. There are plenty of other NFL players that have incentives at the moment, because this example with uh, Gronkowski happened couple of years ago, uh, quarterback Baker Mayfield, if he is on field for 66% of the snaps, he gets a million dollar bonus. Um, receiver Juju Smith-Schuster also gets a monetary bonus of $500,000 if he reaches uh, 1,000 yards receiving. Uh, two important factors from this is uh, the Patriots wide receiver Smith-Schuster. He's referenced um, despite the uh, comments made by Gronkowski about the Patriots and how they how they work with their incentives and Baker Mayfield is on the books and how they have their incentives and a creative example that they have uh, that is in the league is C uh, the Seahawks middle linebacker Bobby Wagner is offered an incentive of $750,000 if he makes an all pro team so this is a instead of just a singular thing to accomplish. He needs to play at a high level all season to make that all pro team instead of just reaching a certain number in specific stats. So this is, um, I chose this article because it relates to management and the NFL, two things that I've taken an interest in and um, specifically incentives and motivation, which is related to our course. Thank you.